Hi, Vadim here. In this quick tutorial, I'll guide you through everything you need to know from start to finish. Very frequently, you might face the challenge of getting reliable answers from AI tools. Sometimes ChatGPT5 will sound confident, but the answer is wrong. These are called hallucinations. Let me walk you through five practical ways to reduce them with a quick demos along the way. Number one and most frequent reason you get hallucinations is that you need to be clear and specific. Hallucinations often happen when prompts are vague. Watch this. You can type in just tell me about Excel and ChatGPT will give you generic fluffy answer. Let's look at this prompt. Explain three Excel functions useful for analyzing sales data in job interviews. And if you look closely, ChatGPT listed VLOOKUP, some IFS, and pivot tables. You always need to remember that clear prompts narrow the scope and force the model to ground the answers. Another trick you can use is ask ChatGPT for honesty and references. You can specifically tell ChatGPT5 not to guess. For example, to every prompt you can add, if you don't know, say you don't know. And when accuracy matters, ask, provide a references for every detail. Let's try this prompt. List three US tax deductions for freelancers. If you don't know, say so. Provide references. ChatGPT listed multiple deductions, home office deduction, self-employment tax deduction, and health insurance premium deductions. All of them include citations from irs.gov. Now let's look at another trick to improve accuracy. You can add role and context. The key here is realizing that context matters. If you assign a role, the output becomes more reliable. Let me demonstrate by using this prompt. Act as biology tutor. Explain cell division to high school student using simple terms. You can see the chat GPT delivered a grounded, simplified explanation. What's always important to remember is that defining the role narrows the model's language and reduces hallucinations. Did you know that you can use search and browse to boost accuracy? ChatGPT can browse when enabled. You can use this feature for real-time accuracy. Let me demonstrate. What's the latest inflation rate in the US? Use browsing. And ChatGPT shows the recent value with linked source, which is Bureau of Labor Statistics. What's important to remember here is that grounding answers in live data reduces hallucination risk. And as you might have guessed, I saved the best for last. You can control ChatGPT5 randomness with the temperature setting. Lower means more factual, higher means more creative. Here is how to do it. Summarize the causes of 2008 financial crisis. Temperature 0.2. You can see that the output is concise, factual bullet list. Let's try the same request, but with the temperature 1. And you can see that the output is much longer, more narrative and less strict. Always remember that setting temperature to 0.2 to 0.3 is the best when accuracy matters. Let's recap. To minimize hallucination in ChatGPT5, you need to be specific, ask for honesty and references, add context, use browsing, and lower the temperature. Make sure to apply this daily when you're writing resumes, studying, or building client proposals, and you will get clear, more trustworthy answers. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Online Training for Everyone. Have a great day.